It's increasingly likely that space will be the new frontier of the 21st century. In the 20th century, man conquered the moon, or got there and planted a couple of flags at least. From then till the end of the 20th century, precious little was done in the aspect of space exploration and travel. However, with the dawn of the 21st century, there have been renewed efforts to not only reach space, but fully conquer it. And this time, several corporations and states are battling it out. But could this lead to a war in space? In today's video, we'll be exploring the question and finding out if there could be a war in space. A lot of analysts have spoken about how countries could go to war over territory in space. Most people don't pay attention to these analysts because, well, what do they know? They are often boring and usually have no real power. But most people sat up and listened when Donald Trump in 2019 announced to the whole world that space is the new fighting domain. And this wasn't talk alone. Trump made this known after creating the US Space Force and telling the world that his administration was focused on American dominance in outer space. As anyone would expect, rhetoric like this bothered other spacefaring nations, who were developing their independent spacefaring programs. These nations greatly feared an acceleration of an arms race in space and were very concerned. They were so concerned that the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Use of Outer Space Meetings, they noted that they needed to come together to make sure conflicts in outer space were prevented. Now, there's been a change in administration in the United States. There's at least some hope of toning down the rhetoric. So the future of space may not be the fiery madness of a fighting domain that Trump calls it. Perhaps it may be a domain of increased cooperation among nations like NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station. On the craft were the US and Japanese astronauts who joined the Russian and US crew at the International Space Station. Nothing screams unity and diversity than that. Missions like that are great examples of what could be in space. It could be the one frontier where people of all nations can come together, work for a common goal, and succeed in achieving that goal. However, it could easily become a frontier of conflict. The Outer Space Treaty Before the 20th century, space was only concerned to scientists and people who love gazing at the stars. Countries didn't bother themselves about what was in space, and it rarely entered into political discourse. The madness of the world wars and the insane technological innovations that it brought changed all of that. Soon states were interested in space, and they became so interested that some of them wanted to reach and conquer it. Two of the most important states of this venture were the two centers of power, the United States of America and the Soviet Union. Both countries started the space war that culminated in Neil Armstrong setting his foot on the moon. Of course, the Soviet Union recorded a few wins as well, but people are seriously only going to remember the person who first stepped on the moon. They aren't going to remember the second or third, just the first. This new bout of space exploration by both states called for an agreement on conduct in space. This agreement was called the Outer Space Treaty. The treaty was brokered by the United Nations, and it provided a basic framework for nations to carry out their activities in space without entering into conflict with another state. This agreement has ensured that there is no military conflict in space, and that space is used for the interest of all humanity and not just a few countries. Of course, there are alternatives to the state of things. States could just choose not to cooperate and do their things. The only problem is that it could lead to actual war in space. And this was the kind of rhetoric that President Trump was fanning when he said that space was going to be the new frontier of war. The problems with war in space are plentiful, but the first is this. There would be no clear winner. War on Earth is easy, as easy to transport heavy machinery. But space is an extremely different environment. 
it would be near impossible to pick a position to defend in space. It would be super expensive as well. Importantly, countries like the US may be the most powerful when it comes to potential space warfare, but they are also the most vulnerable. A majority of Americans depend on the tech that needs space infrastructure to work. If those are hit, they may take very long for the country to get back online. Cooperation The best route for states to take is to cooperate. The US, for example, has great technological and scientific advantages that can be deployed in space for the good of all humankind. It also has a robust commercial ecosystem for space companies that may be able to make spacefaring a commercially attractive activity. The country has two options with the array of tools at its disposal. First, it could go the Trump way and try to dominate space. Or it could use its tools to harness the benefits of space for all mankind. The latter option seems to be the best for everyone, but is that the route America will take? The rules must apply. We can say a lot about not wanting space to descend into an arena of war, but they are just words if there is no way to stop that from happening. Thankfully, there is a way to stop President Trump's prophecy from being the new frontier of war from happening. All we need is to have a set of rules that governs the general behaviour of countries in space. A failure to do that could lead to war over the most mundane things. And that's certainly one thing no one wants in space. But it could end up happening nonetheless. Like with all new frontiers humans face, we also face a choice with space. Do you ensure that we harness the good of this new frontier for the betterment of all humanity? Or do we just fight for our little corner and make sure it benefits only us? The answers we give to this question will determine whether we'll have war in space in the near future or not. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye, and please remember to stay safe.